So, Ice Universe went ahead and put out some specs, leaked some specs, for the standard edition of the Z Fold 6. Now, Ice Universe is a prominent leaker. We've talked about them over the years. They are really good at what they do, and usually they are accurate. So that's why we kind of, you know, go back to them, right? With that being said, they said that the standard edition of the Z Fold 6, not only is it going to be very, very light, by the way, um, which is awesome, but external display is 6.3 inches, which right now the Z Fold 5's external display is 6.2 inches, and it has a 22 by 9 ratio outside display. Right now, we are currently looking at a 23 by 9 ratio outside display for the um, Z Fold 5. So, you know, we made a joke when the Z Fold 5 came out. That was just a Z Fold 4 S, like, you know, plus. I'm starting to think the Z Fold 5 or Z Fold 6 standard edition might just be a Z Fold 4 plus plus. S plus plus. But that's why there is, again, most likely going to be a fan edition or an ultra edition, which is going to hopefully fix a lot of these, you know, kind of copy and paste over the last generation. So, as we've talked about many times, guys, this outside display, well, yes, it's going to be different. I hope you can tell really how little of a difference it's going to be. And no, they're most likely not going to get rid of the crease. That's another thing I know a lot of people have been asking about, and I don't think they're going to get rid of the crease at all. I don't think they know how to get rid of the crease. Because if they did, they would already have it going. You know, Oppo has perfected that. Vivo, sister company of Oppo, perfected that OnePlus. Again, just a rebrand of Oppo. For some reason, Samsung is not able to get rid of that crease. And no matter what they do, they're not able to get that stuff done. He does say right here the resolution of both the internal and external display has improved. Doesn't say by how much. So it's a very vague statement. I mean, you could technically say it, it, it's, uh, you know, brighter than the previous version. It goes a little bit um, higher up when it comes to nits of brightness. Which is exactly what the Z Fold 4 and Z Fold 5 did. Z Fold 5 actually gets a lot brighter than the Z Fold 4. Is it, like, that big of a deal? No. Are you probably going to notice it? Not really, but it is something to take into consideration. Um, but for this, again, it, we don't know how much better, but it's going to still be 120 hertz across the board. Probably very similar resolution, again, with the different aspect ratio of the um, outside display. There's going to be a little bit difference there, you know, because, again, make it a little bit better um, quality-wise. But again, like I said, the biggest thing here is, of course, how thin and how, um, what's called, thin and how light it is. Sorry, I cannot think of the word for some reason. So, yeah, again, like I said, listen, at the end of the day, Samsung, I feel like until they get real competition, they're not going to really go cr all out crazy. I mean, this is definitely some upgrades, right? This is, compared to what we've gotten from the Z Fold 3 to Z Fold 5, this is truly some upgrades. Yeah, we've gotten some upgrades from Z Fold 3 to Z Fold 5, but not that many. This is like the first true upgrade, but it looks like, again, if they are creating an ultra version, that's where they're going to put all their time and energy, because it's probably going to be the most expensive version. So... If they're going to create two versions like we believe they will now, they're not going to, you know, put all the time and effort in the first version. The standard version is just going to be whatever. It's like when the iPhone comes out and the iPhone 15, the Pro and the Pro Max is where Apple puts all their time and effort in. The 15 is just the standard edition. So, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.